A significant step to decarbonizing Singapore's maritime industry. It has unveiled its first fully electric vessel meant to bring crews from land to sea. The first of 13 electric ve- vessels that Singapore company Apixis will be delivering over the next two years. Nicholas Ng goes on board to check out the technology. This is Extron, Singapore's first all-electric port passenger vessel. It is designed to transport crew and essential personnel from land to the ships that are anchored 5 to 10 nautical miles offshore. Such vessels play a critical function in keeping operations running smoothly. So Singapore is the world's second largest port. So we have a whole ecosystem of coastal vessels to support this. So the x is important because it's used as a passenger crew transfer vessel to transport personnel from mainland Singapore out to ships in the anchorage. The x is able to do this in a way that's very efficient, in a way that is digitalized. Typically, such harbour craft would make eight trips a day. And electrification would result in saving about 120 kilograms of carbon emissions per hour when compared to a similar vessel running on diesel. The Xtron is a fully electric ship, all the way down to its three digital displays containing software capable of predicting when parts are going to break ahead of time. All of its features are powered by four racks of batteries scattered throughout the ship. The Xtron is pushed forward by two electric motors on both sides of the ship. These are far smaller than their diesel counterparts, as well as emitting no pollution. It's one of 11 fully electric harbour craft designs shortlisted by the Maritime Port Authority. It plans to convert all harbour craft to low carbon vessels by 2030. Pixis, a maritime electrification technology startup, developed Extron with support from investors, government agencies, and industry experts. It underscores the transformative potential of collaboration and demonstrates the remarkable spirit of Pixis in drawing from strong foundations of maritime experience while daring to push the boundaries of innovation. Mr B adds that collaboration and trust between the industry, workers and the government is key for the green transition of the maritime sector. The ultimate goal is to have Singapore's maritime industry reach net zero by 2050.